Run Marble Champions League here on Marble Food. Okay, glad to have you again here, friends. I'm Keanu Bitterzicki here for today's event. Number nine, we are halfway through and still halfway to go. There are the overall standings right now. It's a five-point lead for the Steel Brothers, leading over Oris 1. The Trojans, Flush, and the Janitors, the top five. And uh, within 20 points of the lead as well, our sixth place, Savage Jackal, and the seventh place, Snow Wolves, going all the way down to the Archangels, who have dropped the last place 16th in our standings. Now look at our course for today's event, another more traditional style race. We had that in our last event. We'll do it again today. And over what appears for our event. The teams are ready. The fans are ready. Are you ready? This is event number nine of the 2021 Marble Champions League. This is the Slalom Race 30 meters. Have a look at again. A beautiful course here. Green infield. And a very small course, but uh, that can provide, as we've seen on the past year on Marble Fubica, with some very interesting action, some very uh, fast pace action as well. And uh, here we go. This is another group staging matchup. So uh, we will again go with our bracket style. There are the groups A, B, C, and D. Quick two-lap race. Katu Bola, the Vikings, Onyx, and the Archangels. In Group A, top two will advance. And right now it's Katu Bola with a big lead over Onyx, and then the Vikings and the Archangels. We go into lap number two, a large lead for Katu Bola, up by 1.7 seconds over Onyx, by about two tenths of a second over the Vikings, who just made a pass for second place. It is Tatu Bola across. They're going to get the win. The Vikings take second. They transfer, followed by Onyx. And the Archangels, who continue to struggle, they will finish in last out of this grouping and obviously not going to advance into the semifinal as we have a look at the replay here of this first race. Quick sprints here. The style of event that we're running with today. Provides for uh, not a lot of time to make up any kind of mistake that you might make. As you saw, the Vikings make a quick pass, but not much passing otherwise. As top two Bola and the Vikings advance to semifinal A. And we make our way to group B of this opening stage. And they are consisting of the Savage Jackal, the Steel Brothers, Asia Championship leaders, the Speedy Hunters, and the Series Spiders. Lots of S's all over the place here for this matchup, and right now it's the Fury Spiders and the Steel Brothers, and it looks like the Steel Brothers are going to make a pass for the lead. It's close right now between the top two, but they're trying to distance themselves between the Speedy Hunters and Savage Jackal. The Steel Brothers pulling out to a little bit of a lead. It's the Fury Spiders trying to hold on. Steel Brothers win it, and the Fury Spiders will advance, transferring over by about six-tenths of a second over the Speedy Hunters and then the Savage Jackal. Finishing the last out of Group B as we have a look at our replay. We saw the Scary Spiders actually jump over one of those barriers there. Nothing illegal about it. It's just a matter of whether or not you can make it work for momentum's sake. They did not as they got passed out of that first corner by the Steel Brothers, but they're still able to advance. As the Scary Spiders get that transfer spot and the last spot in semifinal A. Here's Group C. The Blue Jackets, the Trojans, the Janitors, and Oris 1, another heavy-hitting group. And right now it's the Janitors with a big lead over Oris 1, then the Blue Jackets and the Trojans. They're all pretty close, but it's a gigantic lead for the Janitors. You'd have to really mess it up if they don't advance. Here we go. It's the Blue Jackets still in the lead. They're trying to gain a little bit of momentum and maybe upset this group. Across the line, it's the Janitors, and the Blue Jackets do get a gun. They advance over Oris 1. And the Trojans with a rough run there as they struggled. Have a look at the replay. And, uh, that was a pretty easy win for the Janitors, winning it by. 1.2 seconds over anybody, all the way back, almost four seconds before the Trojans crossed the line after the Janitors did. A pretty dominant run there by the Janitors. They grabbed the first spot uh, along with the Blue Jackets in semifinal B. And our final group, 
Lynch Ruffus, Flush, Swiftblade, and the Snow Wolves. And they are off, and it's Swiftblade in the lead right now, but here comes Lynch Ruffus. They're going to take the lead. Followed by Swiftblade, then the Snow Wolves, and Flush falling behind a little bit. Let's see if there could be a pass, maybe. They're right up on the bumper. Swiftblade trying to get to Lynx Ruffus, cannot get it done. Here comes Flush with a nice move. Can they make a pass? They're into third, but you need to be second in order to transfer, and they're not going to be able to have enough to get it done. It's Lynx Ruffus and Swiftblade advancing from Group D. play here and again not a lot of passing really going to be done as you can see Lynx Ruff has made that pass by going over a barrier we saw uh, one of the teams try to do that earlier it didn't work I think it was the Sphery Spiders maybe that had attempted to make that move happen they got it done but they didn't uh, be able they weren't able to hold the spot this time Lynx Ruff is, does hold the spot they're able to take a more traditional turn around the track in their second lap they grab a spot in semi-final B Joining them are Swiftblade, and that is the end of the group stage. You can see on the left side, those are the teams failing to advance to the semifinals. Eight down, eight left. As we make our way into the semifinals, we'll start with semifinal A. Again, this is just two laps. It's the Steel Brothers, the Vikings, Tatu Bola, and the Sphery Spider. A couple from the top, a couple from uh, the middle to bottom of the... Uh, Standings, but that's not going to matter necessarily. The Vikings and then the Sphery Spiders. Here's a pass for third by the Steel Brothers. They're going to have to get up into second, though. It's the Vikings in the lead. The Sphery Spiders have pressure all over them from the Steel Brothers who make that pass. They go into second place as we come around for the final two turns. Here we go. It's going to be the Steel Brothers holding on. They take second. The Vikings get the win. The transfer go to the Steel Brothers. They're into the final as well. The Sphery Spiders put up a tough, tough fight there, but they're unable to ultimately get it done against the Steel Brothers, who advance into the finale, joined by the Vikings, who win that one by a little over a half a second in semifinal A. And on the uh, replay here, you can see that pass had to be made. The Scary Spiders very nearly spoiling the party for the Steel Brothers, but ultimately they're able to make that pass, which is not easy, you've seen here. It has not been easy to pass, but they get it done. They advance into the finale, here's semi-final B. It's Ruffus, the Janitors, Swiftblade, and the Blue Jackets. The Janitors had an incredible run in their first matchup, but they are struggling early here, really far behind the pace. Right now it's the Blue Jackets, and then Swiftblade, and Lynx Ruffus, and a pretty significant portion behind are the Janitors. They are not going to be able to get this thing done. The Janitors will fail to advance. It's the Blue Jackets can swiftly do it. Yes, they can. They take it rather easily. Nearly a second between second and third. It was not an awfully close race there. 1.2 seconds from first to second. And then uh, about nine-tenths of a second from second to third. So a pretty easy advancement there for, obviously, the Blue Jackets with that win. But also pretty easily done there for Swiftly. And so our final is set. It's the Vikings, the Steel Brothers, the Blue Jackets, and Swiftblade. A couple from the top. A couple from not the top. In fact, I would even call it the bottom of the standings. But that is what's so great about this uh tournament and the way that this Marvel Champions League works. Everybody's great, so anybody could do it at any point in time. Here comes the finale. Again, just two laps. It is a quick sprint. Right now, in the lead are the Blue Jackets, followed by Swiftly. Then your championship leader, the Steel Brothers, and the Vikings taking on fourth. The Blue Jackets really trying to stretch out that lead. They lead by 1.3 seconds over Swiftblade. Coming around to that last propelling system, and they are going to get it done. It's the Blue Jackets who take gold. Second place in a silver to Swiftblade, and the Steel Brothers take bronze. Fourth place goes to the Vikings. As we have a look at our replay, that one again, not close. Won it by seven tenths of a second. As it was a pretty easy run there. And for the 
Blue Jackets on that second lap, it's all about just coasting at home, to be honest with you, as they were able to really build a lead on that first one. They're the winners of this event number nine, the slalom race 30 meters. As you have a look now at our official results from today's event, Blue Jackets take first, second place to Swiftway, third to the Steel Brothers, fourth to the Vikings, and the Sphere Spiders end up in fifth. Then Tatu Bola, Lynx Ruffus, and the Janitors rounding out the top half of the standings all the way down to, yet again, a very bad run for the Archangels. They continue to struggle as we have a look at the updated overall standings. It's still the Steel Brothers, and they are now pulling away with a 14-point lead over Oris 1. How, by the way, the Steel Brothers still yet to win an event, but they have two silvers, two bronzes, and have been far more consistent. Third place, the Janitors. Fourth place, the Trojans, who struggle a little bit in that event, and then Flush right now running in fifth. So maybe we're starting to see somebody try to pull away with this thing. We're a little more than halfway through now with uh, this overall championship, and now it's a 14-point lead. Congratulations, third place to the Steel Brothers. They've now got 105 points. They're the championship leaders after a bronze today. 74 points for Swiftblade after taking silver, but today they're all aspiring to be the Blue Jackets. They take gold at the slalom race 30 meters, and uh, really definitely something maybe that, that will allow them to turn around lead-based tournaments in our last couple of events. We are back to the more uh, interesting events here as we've got a brand new event here for today's number 10 event of this season. This is the 2021 Marvel Champions League. Hello again, friends. I'm Keanu Bittersick. Glad to be here with you as you see your overall standings on the left side of your screen. The Steel Brothers advancing their lead a little bit further up to 14 points now over Oris 1. And then the Janitors running back in third. And then the Trojans and Flush, your top five, as uh, they were able to take second place in our last event, the Slalom Race. We again ran a more traditional marble race, but we are back to uh, some of the more uh, interesting events. The teams are ready, the fans are ready. Are you guys ready? This is event number 10 of the 2021 Marble Champions League. This is Collision Soccer. You have our course here. You can see it's a very interesting one, a mix of a couple of different uh, styles here. You've got that rail racing that's going to start out. This is not, by the way, going to be a group event. This is going to be Eight different runs of one-on-one, -on -one, which will advance us into the quarterfinals, then we'll go into the semifinals, then down to our finale. This is a round of 16. We'll start with the Savage Jackal and the Archangels. This is a full team event. We've got a couple of goals going on. Looks like it's three to two. And everybody else is gonna hold still. Three, two, the Savage Jackal. Knock out the Archangels. And the first two were the Savage Jackal, or excuse me, were the Archangels. So a great job by the Savage Jackal to put in a couple of scores there at the end because they were down 2 nothing quickly against the Archangels as you can see there on the replay. But the Savage Jackal into our first quarterfinal will face the winner of this next matchup which is the Steel Brothers and the Lynx Ruffus. And they are off. Down the rail they go. Going to try to get down first. That's going to be your tiebreaker in case of a tie. There's a goal. There's another one for the Steel Brothers. And... That's all, I believe. Yep, everybody's going to hold still now. The Lynx Rough is unable to score. Steel Brothers pick up two, and they advance to take on the Savage Jackal. Not a ton of scoring early in that one. Took a little bit of time before the Steel Brothers were able to score, and obviously we didn't get any scoring whatsoever. On the other end from the Lynx Rough is. First quarter final is set, and our next matchup is the Snow Wolves and the Speedy Hunters. Right there, it looks like the Snow Wolves have spread out a little bit. You want to stay as close as you can. There's a couple of goals. There's a third. There's a fourth for the Snow Wolves. What a run. The Snow Wolves are going to score everything they can. Only one on the board for the Speedy Hunters, and so it's the Snow Wolves coming off of a pretty strong run in the last event, keeping that momentum up. And look how quickly they scored. Yeah, wow. Got a couple of them. And really, they all went down pretty easily and pretty quickly, but two of those scores were incredibly fast. The Snow Wolves advance, and they'll take on the winner of the Onyx and the Sphere Spiders in this round of 16. Sphere Spiders, the white, the black of the Onyx, and there's a couple of goals. Maybe just one. Yeah, just one so far. There's a second for Onyx. 
That's going to seal the deal. They're going to pick up a third for good measure. There's one at the end for the series, Spiders. But three on the board for Onyx. They get it done to advance. So far, we haven't had to use that tiebreaker, but you'll see up on the score bug there at the top of the screen, that time that's going to pop up is what time it was that they made it down onto the course, uh, onto the soccer field here. That's going to be your tiebreaker in case we happen to have a couple of teams score the same. Haven't had to use it yet. And in fact, every time so far out of the four we've run, the first team down scores the most points. Let's see if that holds up here between Oris 1 and the Trojans. If it does, it bodes well for, I think, the Trojans. Here comes one score for Oris 1. There's one for the Trojans. A second for Oris 1 is going to get them the win. Hold it out at the last second there. I think we may have lost one of the, yep, you can see on that replay, one of the Trojans marbles came back up and out of the course. So I was gonna say, I only saw a couple on the uh, playing surface there and then one in the net. So Oris one put at an advantage there because they had more marbles on the course as you'll have like one more replay. There it is, right back up and over the fencing there for the Trojans who continue uh, a not so great streak. They're knocked out in the first round here again. And uh, Oris 1 will take on the winner of Swiftblade against uh, the Vikings here. Off they go, Swiftblade looks like they're in the lead early. There's three goals for the Vikings. Swiftblade trying to put, make something happen at the end. They will pick up just the one. And the Vikings pick up three. They continue their hot streak. They're advancing into the quarterfinals. And they just became the first team to get to the bottom of the field second, but still advance. A 4.345 on their time to a 4.128 for Swiftblade there. Doesn't matter, they get it done. The Vikings will take on Oris 1 in the quarterfinals. Now it's the Janitors against Flush. How uh, fitting there, this matchup. And it was all been successful all season, but they're in some trouble here. 3-1, that's it. It's Flush that will get the win. And a second straight time at the first team down is not going to advance. Have a look at the replay and... There's nothing happening there for the janitors. They just didn't have anything really going. Able after a little bit of contact, maybe they would have been able to pick up two if their two marbles on the left side hadn't made contact. But even if that happened, that's not enough to get it done because there were three points on the board for Flush. So they're advancing into the quarterfinal and they will set up our final matchup, which is the winner of this last matchup of the first round. That's Tatu Bola against the Blue Jackets. Blue Jackets coming off of a win, and they have two, three points, and that's enough to get it done. Blue Jackets advance, and they will take on Flush, 3-1 the win over Tatu Bola. As we have a look at the replay, it was the one pretty easy for Tatu Bola, and there is a quick one for... The Blue Jackets, there's another one and another one after that. Three to one, they get the win to advance to the quarterfinal. And we'll go back up to the top of the bracket. It's the Savage Jackal against the Steel Brothers. Savage Jackal trying to do everybody a favor and knock out the championship leaders. There's two points for the Steel Brothers. Nobody else is gonna score and they will advance into the semifinal go the Steel Brothers with a two to one win. How close was that? Look at the timing. 4.258 to 4.263. So if they had tied, still would have been the Steel Brothers on what would have been awfully close. Look at the replay there. There's the winner that goes in for the Steel Brothers with their second point. They nearly added a third. And uh, you can see none of the Savage Jackal marbles really went anywhere close. As we move our way down to our second quarter final, the Snow Wolves against Onyx. Second straight time, white versus black. Oh, Onyx is involved. Oh. There's a couple of scores for the Snow Wolves. Onyx oh. is going to have to make something happen. There's three, and it's a 3 nothing shutout for the Snow Wolves to advance into the semifinal where they get the Steel Brothers. Now 
with the Vikings against Oris 1. Oris 1 second place. They really need this to keep it going. 1-1. One, one. Here's a second for Oris 1. Close off the side of the net there. They contacted one of the Vikings marbles, but they cannot get it done. And Oris 1 advances to the semifinal. They're trying to stay step by step along with the Steel Brothers, they have to make up points. They're 14 points now, but you definitely can't be eliminated when you see the other team that you're chasing continuing to go further and further into the tournament. Steel Brothers making it awfully tough on anybody. And they continue to have success into the final last time. They're in the semifinals, at least here today, which is the equivalent of the final from every other event with the grouping. As the Blue Jackets look for a second straight win, there's two points for them, and the Flush aren't going to get it done. The Blue Jackets into the semifinal. Play here, the Blue Jackets now trying to get on a hot run as the second half of the season is underway. And this is a 16 event season, the 10th event here. And as we make our way to the semifinal, the Steel Brothers and the Snow Wolves. Can anybody knock off the championship leaders? Trying to get it done. There's a goal for the Snow Wolves. There's their second goal. There's their third goal. There's two for the Steel Brothers. They cannot get the last one to go. The Snow Wolves advance into the finale. They knock out the Steel Brothers, who still will finish with an impressive run in today's event, but they're unable to get into the finale as one, two, three, about as quick as possible for the Snow Wolves. Just unable to get that third marble to go. The Steel Brothers, you can see right there, is the second one that falls. And then on the left side of the screen, you see hovering around that goal, close, made contact with the side post, but unable to score. And so the Snow Wolves advance into the finale. And they'll take on either Oris 1 or the Blue Jackets. The Blue Jackets trying to win a second straight event. Oris 1 trying to get to the finale again. They've won two events already. They're the only team to win more than one. There are two goals for Oris 1. There's a second for the Blue Jackets. Did we get a... No, there's a third for the Blue Jackets. There's a fourth for the Blue Jackets. And they get it done. Their time was slower than Oris 1, so they needed to score more points. They did, and they advanced to the finale again. What a run in the last couple of weeks by the Blue Jackets. Winning in event number 9. Now, trying to do it again. What a great run by them. They'll take on the Snow Wolves in the finale. As Oris 1 is going to best out the Steel Brothers just barely, just by one spot. Not going to do a lot toward the championship points, but it will at least help them get just a tiny bit closer. But now the finale and everything that we have worked for today comes down to this. The Blue Jackets on the left, the darker blue, the more of a white color with the blue is the Snow Wolves. They are off. The finale is underway. There's a couple of goals there. The Snow Wolves again with three more. And that's going to do it. There's a second for the Blue Jackets. They will not score a third. And the Snow Wolves again with that quick attack, which is exactly what they did in the semifinal. Got it done so quickly in a blink of an eye. You're already having to score three or four, and just barely the Blue Jackets were down first, so they would have only needed three. They get two, but could not pick up that final one they needed. They're both close to the goal. Neither would go in, and so it's the Snow Wolves that win this event in our Collision Soccer. Congratulations to them as we have a look at the results for today's event. And it's three points that Oris 1 is going to make up on the Steel Brothers. Uh, from third to fourth place, they take that bronze medal. Silver, of course, goes to the Blue Jackets. Gold for the Snow Wolves. Steel Brothers fourth, Vikings fifth, Savage Jackal, and Flush and Onyx are sixth, seventh, and eighth, the top half of our bracket from today. In this one versus one matchup, the lead for the Steel Brothers is down to 11 points. 117 to 106, and then another 12 points back to the Snow Wolves who get their first win. They're in that win column now as we've got a bunch of winners. Only one multi-time winner in 10 events, but it's an 11-point lead for somebody who hasn't won at all. The Steel Brothers continue to uh, be stopped from getting their first event win, but they continue to hold a double-digit point lead when it comes to the overall standings, which is ultimately what you're going for. 
Congratulations to Oris One. They pick up uh, six goals over the course of the event, taking a bronze. Uh, they're up to 106 points. Uh, the Blue Jackets picked up seven goals en route to a silver. Ten goals for the Blue Jackets, uh, excuse me, for the Snow Wolves. They deserved it as they got it done in a pretty impressive fashion with ten goals, well more than anybody else, and they do it with three in a matter of a second coming down in our finale. So congratulations to them today. They all aspire to be the Snow Wolves.